every story has a beginning and an end. This is how our story began. The year is 2219. In Casablanca, a young woman named Zoe Castillo is drawn into a conspiracy when her journalist ex-boyfriend Reza goes missing. Zoe tries to track him down and discovers that Reza is working on a story about a new entertainment device that enables lucid dreams. But this device also opens a back door into people's minds, allowing Watticorp, the makers of the dream machine, to monitor thoughts and steal memories. When Zoe is forcibly connected to a dream machine, she finds herself in another world, Arcadia, the world of magic. Zoe arrives in the middle of an armed conflict between the Azadi, who have conquered the city of Mercuria, and the magical peoples who are being eradicated by the invaders. She soon learns of a connection between the dream machine and the Azadi. Someone is attempting to steal humanity's dreams in order to reshape reality. When Zoe wakes from her vision, she tracks the Dream Machine conspiracy back to the Watticorp headquarters and helps sabotage the project. But before Zoe can tell the world what is going on, she's poisoned by a woman claiming to be her long-deceased mother. Now, in a coma, Zoe travels to a strange and desolate place. Story time. Here, Zoe has the power to shape dreams and help those who are trapped in night terrors escape but unable to escape herself. Meanwhile, in Arcadia, the world of magic, we follow the apostle Kian Nirvane as he journeys from the Azadi homelands to the occupied city of Mercuria on a sacred mission to assassinate the leader of the magical resistance. But as Kian learns more about the conflict between his people and the magicals, he begins to lose faith in his mission. He finally tracks down the leader of the rebels, a woman named April Ryan, but refuses to kill her. As punishment, Kian is imprisoned and sentenced to death, and April is brutally cut down. Zoe is in a coma. Kian is in prison. Their journeys have yet to intersect, but that moment draws closer. Behind the scenes, the thief of dreams is pulling threads and manipulating events. The dream machine has been released, Millions of people are addicted to lucid dreams. The Azadi have cemented their rule. Their plot to harvest dreams is moving ahead. Every story has a beginning. Every story has an end. This is the beginning of the end. There are two worlds, our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams.
They say that every story has a beginning and an end. But that isn't always the case. Some stories simply... Stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Story time feels more real to me now than the waking world does. Those lights are people. Spirits. Souls. Whatever you want to call them. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. People keep bringing flowers. So that was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Grab her, she's falling too quickly. No! Help me! Hold on. Oh God, don't let go! Thanks for... for saving me. Feels like I've been falling forever. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was... This feels so real. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing, the dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back and maybe I won't find you next time and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh God, no, no, I promise I'll remember. 
Do something else with your spare time. G go shopping, have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but this. Time to wake up. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Dream it. No. That can't. That can't be. This, this is too real. Too real. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. I don't ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. Bulb won't last long. It's dark. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. Stay close to me, and you'll be fine. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. You have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close, and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. Can you please help me find my way? There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps... It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me, and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop, or I can't help him. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. 
I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. See? All this time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry, not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. Thank you. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there, through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or she'll unlock it and let the monster have me. Great parenting. Don't worry, I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like... A superhero. Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. She... She had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on. Oh, tentacles. Yeah, no, not touching that. Too dark. Can't see anything under there. Big bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. wardrobe door opens and Kraken crawls out. Dream or no dream, I'm not sticking around for that. I can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Oh, 
Take it back. Totally uncool. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. A mother would do this to her child. Tentacles, be gone. Hello, locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. No, a lot don't of get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now, I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not. But you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never, ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... It's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Home? For better or worse, this is all I once had is gone forever. Home? I'm not going home. There's nothing there for me. There's no one. There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But I'm... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. What's the point? There are no second chances. I'm not ready to wake up, to face... I'm not ready... What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same... I'm not... I'm afraid. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. He's asking, isn't it enough? Who needs me? All who live, who have lived, and who will live. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? 
I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay, so, so what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end, but it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad Reza visits a lot. He talks to me for hours. I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The, I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. That's not doing anything at all, except me. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down. Me. My body. That's the only connection between story time and, and home. Take a skateboard to that line, you'd build up a lot of speed. Dad, Gabriel, stops by every day, keeps apologizing. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't. 
can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. No light source there. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, okay. The cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring, like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Where do you think you're going? Did you think it was going to be that easy? A quick chat with Mr. Dinner Theatre and then sayonara to story time. Hello, second chances. Don't be a fucking tosser. You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not going over this again. I'm not letting... Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You're still rejecting your own self, your past. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. You think this time it's going to play out differently? <laughs> That's real cute. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I'm going home. Home? Sure, why not? Why not go home? Easy. Oh, but wait. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. Everything and everyone you ever cared for is gone. You're right. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. It's not true. It's not all gone, so it's not perfect. I'm not asking for a perfect home. I just want a home and my life back. <laughs> nice retort, big sister. Did you rehearse that one? What did you call me? Touch a nerve, did I? That was you. You were there. You said goodbye to Faith. It's not for you to mock and use against me. That was never me. You left me behind before that. You ignored your true self and pretended to be a hero. Like that was ever gonna stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up, unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. But, you know, that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. Oh, spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. Oh yeah? And... And who is that? I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. We need each other. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive.